In this video, I want to speak about no, not only my favorite black metal albums, but something even more than favorite. The albums that uh, I feel them inside myself, if you understand what I'm speaking about. Sometimes you have a band and you have some albums that you like them very much and you think that uh, this is your favorite album of them and maybe the best album of them but some other album that maybe you will, you will not put it in this first uh, place is something that you have a connection with it even more so today i want to speak about this style of albums some of them of course they are of my favorite uh, albums of all time inside black metal some of them maybe you will not find them in another video that I did before some time that I'm speaking about my favorite 50 or even more black metal albums and you will find them here. Here we have the Cold Stone of my not only favorite of my beloved black metal albums. Most of them I will put here 32 albums more or less and most of them they are not new they are they are coming they are come, most of them they are from the second uh, wave of black metal more more or less and um, but two of them they are a little bit more modern so let's start let's find out and here of course I start with the first full-length album of Mayhem from Norway, The Mysteries Dom Satanas. Of course, of course, this is a cornerstone of the black metal scene in any aspect. And then continue with Norway, Hades, Hades, Hades. Afterwards, they called themselves Hades Almighty, and their second full-length album. The Dawn of the Dying Sun. This album is a great epic black metal album from Norway. Bathory, of course, from Sweden. And here I will put Hammerheart. I know that this is not exactly so black metal, this album, but it's so close to my heart. heart. Gorthon, rest in peace. And now, Storm from Norway, a super group. Here we you here here we have also dark. Uh, we have Fernis from Dark Throne and Satir from Satiricon. Storm they made only this album Nordavind, and they they took a Norwegian folk music with black metal aspects. Great great album. Dissection from Sweden, of course, and their second full length album, Storm of the Lights Bane, melodic Swedish black metal. Black and Death, call it how you want. I could also put here Rain Chaos, their third and last album of them, but I think that Rain Chaos is not so black metal, it's a little bit more melodic death metal. Blasphemy from Canada and their debut album. Fallen Angel of Doom, one of the special and more my more I, I can say my of my favorite bands of war bestial black metal in general. Ulver from Norway, and yes, I think that uh, their best album is their third album. But this album speaks to my heart even more. Their debut album of them with very folky uh, music inside. Uh, ben Venkrat. Falkenbach, one man's band from Germany. And his th fourth or fifth, fifth, I think, uh, full length album of him. Heralding the Fire Blade. Great epic black metal with Bathory influences, of course. You can see here also the 
cover, cover art, the original cover art. Isengard, the one man's band from of Rings of Dark Throne, and his second full length album, Horse Morke. And he continues the way that Storm started, the same style of Norwegian folkies music with black metal. Drucht from Ukraine and their album Blood in Our Wells. Satiricon from Norway and the debut album of them Dark Medieval Times. Abigor from Austria and their EP one maybe it's not exactly EP maybe it's a, a mini uh, album but it came like uh, as their second uh, album of them by the name Orb Orc Plot the Retaliation this is a concept album and also very 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 great very great and very medieval, I can say. <clears throat> Graveland from Poland and their third full length album, if I'm not sure, Thousand Swords. I'm not sure if this is the second or the third album of them. Thousand Swords. Lo fi black metal from Poland. Of course, I'm not speaking about that some albums and some bands, some bands from here, they have. Unfortunately, neo Nazi uh, ideologies. Now I'm coming to United States and Judas Iscariot and his one man's band, of course, his last album of him to Embras in Corpses, The Corpses Bleeding. Sweden, melodic black metal, Lord Belial. Their second full length album, Enter the Moonlight Gate. Valathron from Greece, from Elas. I originally, I, originally I am from Greece. And their second full length album, Walpurgisnacht. Uh, it's a great, great album of melodic Hellenic black metal style. A band that came from Colombia, and you understand who, uh, about who I'm speaking about. They came from Colombia, afterwards they were in the United States, so today we call them as an American band, Inquisition, and their first full-length album, if I'm not sure, Into the Infernal Regions of the Asian Cult. This is not, of course, the original cover art. Sweden and also melodic black metal Vitterland and the one and only album of them my welcome my last uh, uh, chapter a great album great 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 album Burzum one man's band of course from Norway Varg and his fourth full length album of him Philosophem and I'm continuing with Norway, Limbonic Art, Atmospheric Black Metal, with, no, not, not, not exactly atmospheric, let's say Symphonic Black Metal, Symphonic Black Metal with their debut album of them, Epitome of Illusions, I know that many people prefer the two other albums that came afterwards and they are great, but here, if I'm speaking of something that there is so close to my heart, I will put this album, the debut album of Nibonic Art. Dark Throne, of course, and Transylvanian Hunger. Uh, I don't have any other words to describe how this album is so lo-fi and so, so, so to the point, so black metal to the point. Another Swedish band, also melodic black metal, Down, and their last album of them, 
Slotterson, Crown of the Triarchy. And now, the two albums that they are not so old. First of all, Macabre Omen from Greece, from Rhodes, from the island Rhodes of Elas. One Man's Band, great album, great uh, band with very Bathory style, epic metal, uh, black metal style. And his uh, second full length album, Gods of War at War. If you don't know them, if you don't know him, Alexandros from Rodus, you have to find his music, especially this album. The next album that also is a little bit more modern, Mugla, if I prefer it well, from Poland, and their third full length album of them, Exercises in Futility, this album. It was like a, a dynamite inside the black metal uh, community before some years. Now, Finland and one man's band of uh, also Satanic War Master and his second full length album, if I'm not sure, this is the second full length, Ob Obfell Blood. And now, Germany with a band that this, this is also one man's band but here i'm not bringing one of his um, full-length albums of him but a compilation of uh, old and unreleased material and i'm speaking about nangaroth and his uh, album of him uh, amaror no, not Amarok, Amarok. Nargaroth, Amarok. Now, Belgium and Asian Rights with their second full length album, Blasphemia Eternal. Blasphemia Eternal, one great album with some thrust metal elements in, their, in, the, in the beginning of them, with epic also elements and folkish elements afterwards, great, great songs from the beginning to the end, Asian Rites from Belgium, Blasphemia Eternal. And continue with the United States, one of the great bands of this depressive suicidal black metal, DSBM, and I'm speaking about Leviathan with his uh, one man's band, of course, with his full length album, the la the, with his uh, debut full length album, the 10th sub level of suicide. Now I'm going to Austria and I'm speaking about a great band with a very st special style of them. And I'm speaking about Samoning, Samoning, and maybe for me the best album of them is Mo Minas Morgul, their second full length album, but the fourth length album of them, this is so close to my heart. Here we have it by the name Let Mortal Heroes Sing Your Fame. Immortal from Norway. And also, I could bring here the debut album of them. Also, I could bring here, could bring here Pure Holocaust, but I, I will continue and will bring here the fifth album of them by the name At the Heart of Winter. And I'm continuing with Norway. Dodhem's Guard with their debut album of them by the Nor Norse and uh, Nordic or no, uh, the name in the in, in Nordic Kronet Til Konke. This album is so great. Unfortunately, Dodden's Don regard they took another path afterwards. Also Fernis from Dark Throne played here. And the last one the last one for this video and I'm speaking about one band from France, Multilation. Okay, in the beginning there were two guys, afterwards it became one man's band. 
but here this is the debut full-length album of them by the name Vampires of Black Imperial Blood. This is a 30 to 32 great black metal albums that they are so close to my heart from Israel and from Jerusalem. Stay metal and stay heavy.